Hey guys, I'm Revo. This is A Geek Out of Place. Today, we're making food. Not just food. D&D, Wizards of the Coast, announced they're releasing a, an official cookbook of Dungeons and & Dragons. And they also released two free recipes for people to try out along with the announcement. We're making those today. This video is over the Mind Flayer cocktail. The other video, I'm making the Elven bread. So those, these, both of these videos should be up about the same time I have with me the Mind Flayer, this beautiful purple drink. Mmm. Oh, ginger, lime, grape juice, vodka. It is so good. I can already tell I'm taking like six psychic damage just because it's, it, it's strong. It's, if you want to see how I made it, keep on watching. Uh, it's spicy, it's sweet, it's frosty, it's like 95 degrees outside, so this is the perfect drink to have. Guys, enjoy. Uh, please drink responsibly and legally. To start, you'll need three tablespoons of peeled and chopped fresh ginger, one quarter cup of sugar, one third cup of fresh lime juice, Half a cup of thawed grape juice concentrate. Five ounces of vodka, chilled. Three cups of small ice cubes or coarsely crushed ice. Oh, and back there is the elven bread. After I peeled the ginger, I thought grating it would make everything just go a little bit faster and easier on the blender. And if I were to do this recipe again, I think three tablespoons of ginger is a bit much for my taste. I personally would dial it back for two, but hey, that's up to you guys. To get the required one third cup of lime juice, I had to use about four limes. Depending on how juicy they are, it could vary for you. Don't forget the best way to get as much juice from limes and lemons and oranges as possible. Really press them down and roll them before you cut them open. Okay, from here, you add the lime juice, the sugar, and the ginger into your blender and blend until everything is all syrupy and consistent. It'll be about a minute. Okay, now using a fine mesh strainer, run the dissolved mixture through it and press out as much of the liquid as possible. Should have about half a cup and discard the pulpy stuff left over. I just got my grape juice and ice measured out. Return the ginger syrup liquid back into the blender along with the grape juice concentrate and the ice cubes. And of course, how could I forget five ounces of vodka. Make sure to pick some really good stuff, some pretty strong stuff. I don't know why I took a shot of vodka. I can't stand straight vodka. And there's the ice. Now, give everything a good blitz in the blender. I have a pretty good blender. I pulse it a couple times and just let it run. You want the ice to be crushed and you want the drink to be frothy and everything has a nice movement inside the pitcher. And there you have it. This drink is enough to make two decent sized servings or you can have it all for yourself. I shared mine with my wife and she loved it. Oh my god, you guys, this is so good. So yeah, simple enough to make. Beautiful drink, beautiful color. That ginger is intense. My recommendation would be to dial the ginger back. I'm not the biggest fan of ginger, but my, my wife loves it as it is. If you guys like this video and you want to see me cook more stuff, let me know in the comments and of course, like. I cannot wait for the D&D cookbook to come out and I, uh, it comes out later this fall. I will definitely cook more from it and maybe other cookbooks if anything catches my fancy. Again, let me know what you guys think. And please, in your respective countries, drink responsibly, drink legally. In the meantime though, I'm Ravel, this is Geek Out of Place. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all next time.